Turn to twin, had to turn it up loud for real. Trying to go in a new direction. Get us all just tell your story. Go ahead, just ask your question. You seen them on YouTube, you seen them on Instagram, you seen them on TikTok, they got like 5 million followers, subscribers all over social media. They go by the name of the Johnson Twins. Make some noise, y'all, make some noise. Yes, make some noise. Come on. What's up, y'all? What's up? What up? Hi, y'all. I'm Jaina. And I'm Jada. And this is the True Confessions Podcast Live. Yes. Yes. This is our DJ Caesar. Salute, salute. You know him from 100.3 and Series XM Radio. Yes. We are the Johnson Twins with over 1 million subscribers on YouTube and 5 million over all of our social media platforms. This podcast is all about love and getting into the nitty gritty of the love world. Yes. So y'all, we have a special guest for you guys that's well decorated. She's a New York based personality, a producer and a writer. She has a deep love for art, music and culture and it shows time and time again in her content. She provided content for big names such as Complex Media, Vibes Magazines, and of course, Hot 97. Yes. We are so excited to bring to you all Hot 97's very own Mia Bell. Yes. Let's go. who you are today honestly I'm a Long Island girl that's where I grew up okay. and to be honest having big city dreams has always been the goal uh -huh. seeing those buildings traveling yeah. into the city taking the train all of that you always you know yeah. want to the goal is to get the penthouse in the middle of you know the city Facts. Yeah. Facts. so that's always been the dream and of course growing up on Hot 97 being a part of it means even more yeah. and you know it's the it's the place for survival, the concrete jungle, and we made it. We're here okay. at Summer Jam. So we know you're not shy about today's topic, and we want to know what is your take on the industry and relationships? Ooh, like the industry, the music industry, entertainment industry. What are we talking about? Yes, like the industry in general and like relationships. So like even in the music industry, relationships. Like, what's your take on everything? Honestly, when it comes to dating and that space, I like to keep it real regular. Okay. Real regular. I don't want to deal with nothing that's going on in these music streets, okay. the entertainment streets, because right. it's crazy. Right. I mean, if we're going to have a little fun, I don't mind fun. But for <laughs> serious relationships, uh -huh. unless you're showing me that you're serious about me, then mm -hmm. I stay away from the industry stuff right. for sure. Okay. So this episode is sponsored by New York City Votes, and we truly believe that voting is so important for our voices to be heard. In order for a relationship to work, do you feel like the political parties have to be the same or no? In this day and age, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so important to vote. It's so important to establish what exactly you know you're looking for in a person, mm -hmm. and it goes way beyond just chemistry and love and going out all the time it goes deep into like you know what are your beliefs right what do you want to see for the world what do you want to see for your city and that's something that you got to kind of have some knowledge of coming from young right okay because you're not able to vote unless you pick a political party Fair. so it's important to 
really stay on that and get as much information as you can so that when you are in a serious relationship and yeah. that talk does come up, we already know what we're doing, right? right? right so, right. yeah, young people, get to the vote in and, you know, really establish a political party so that when you do get into that serious relationship, mm -hmm. you guys are on the same page. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, I thank you guys for watching. I don't want you guys to go far because we have another special guest. Hey, girl. <laughs> Make sure you guys are following us and subscribe to our True Confessions podcast. Um, Their QR codes are all around, so make sure you guys subscribe. And thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. New York, make some noise for the Johnson Twins. I really did like what Mia Bo said about political parties. Political parties really matter to secure what your financial future looks like. In the meantime, if you're struggling with your finances, it's time to break free with Money Lion. No more guessing games of what's going on with your money. This app helps put you in control. It gives you all the tools you need to be successful. Join the Money Lion family and make your best financial moves yet. Download the Money Lion app or go to moneylion.com to take charge of your money. So we are so excited to announce our next guest for today. Not only have you seen her bless your TV screens on Empire, BMF, Kingdom Business, and so much more, her voice as a singer and songwriter is everything. Her new EP, Archives, is a must listen. We have to say Damaged Goods is a 10 out of 10. I just love her because she has a heart for people. She is a co-founder of the nonprofit called Deserving Love Foundation. All right, True Crew, I am so honored to bring you the beautiful Soraya. Make some noise, y'all, make some noise, make some noise. <laughs> I know what you like Act like a man cause it gets you so high This joy right give you the high of your life You have the time of your life I might block you Tell your friends about you well, Congratulations on your new EP, Archives 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 Thank across you. the board You're Thank welcome you. yes. Yes. <laughs> What was your inspo behind Archives? Um, honestly, um uh, I had been creating a lot of music. 2020 happened to all of us, mm -hmm. COVID. Um, and Archives was just that. Like, it was just a lot of songs that I hadn't released um, that never seen the, the light of day. Mm -hmm. They were just on my hard drive. So I, at first I wanted to call it hard drive, but I was like, no, they're more archives. Like, these are songs that I've had that I've loved. Yeah. Um, and so I just picked out a few that I felt would go together and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, what's your favorite song on the EP and why? Um, my favorite song has to be probably Damaged Goods okay. with that's Highland. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that's my favorite. So, funny story about that song is um, I have a second verse to it, okay. but then I went in the studio with Highland and I was like, actually, it would be cool if you can get on the second verse. Oh. And he blessed the song and I'm like, yes, I love oh, a good talk, um, talk back song. Yes, we love Damage Goods too. Thank That's you. probably our favorite. So now we're about to get into something we call ABC Confess. It's like a little icebreaker. We know you're an actor and you acted on some of our favorite um, shows. So we're about to get into this segment. So basically we all have to work together to finish the alphabet. Yeah, so the DJ will give us a scenario and we will come up with a story on the spot. The twist is we have to start our sentence with whatever letter we land on. So A, B, C, you get what we say? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, DJ okay. Caesar, the first All scenario. All right, so here's the first scenario, right? Uh -oh. This is a date oh, a gone scenario. wrong, right? So, so this is a, here's the situation. Here's the okay, scenario. Okay. The date has gone wrong. Gonna be a, B, C. The guy comes up. He's a, nothing B. like you expected, right? He's not, nothing like what you expected. He forgot his wallet. Yeah, yeah, he ain't got no bread on him. Now, he says he got his cash app, though, and on top of that, he spilled the drink on you. Yeah. Okay. 
right. So who wants to start? Damn. This is a lot. This is a mess. That's a mess. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start with A. Uh-uh. I, I, you got to go. Before you do go, can you send me $100 extra plus what I paid for already? Because this ain't going to work. called Money Matters, sponsored by our friends at Money Line, the Bacon app. We talk about the awkward topic of money and relationships and money and friends because money really does matter. One thing about the icebreaker is he said he left his, his wallet at home, and I just feel like that's a red flag. How you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, mistakes happen, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, I feel, like, I feel like it's definitely... I don't like to get into that. I'm like, you know... If we going on a date, if you, if you want to call it a date, yeah, then I feel like you should pay for it. If right. we just going off as friends, then uh -huh. cool. But you forgot your wallet. Like, huh? I definitely will pay for it, but I don't know if we're gonna do this again. Right. Yeah. I don't know. He got to send me double. <laughs> no. Yeah. We can't. We can't do this again. But I can't leave the waitress hanging and the right. restaurant hanging. But yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> what's your opinion on going fifty fifty? Ooh, that's a, like a really complex situation. Yeah. But I can say, you know, for me, um, for me, I don't think anything's 50-50. It's always 100-100. Right. I don't want half of anything. Right. And I don't want you to give me half of anything. Um, so if it's a real situation, I'm giving 100, you giving 100. Mm -hmm. I spot you if you need it. You spot me when I need it. But as far as like bills and stuff like that, 50-50, I feel like, it's different subjects that we could talk about right. when it comes down to bills, right? right? So it's like, there's a lot of different things. I'm just, long story short, but um, I think it's a complex conversation and you just got to kind of take that up with your partner. But I don't believe in women taking care of everything. That's yeah. out. Yeah, that's out. Period. Period. <laughs> so now we're about to get into a segment we call True Trends, where we talk about what's going on in today's world. Like. Um, so what's your love language? Ooh, mine is um, quality time and uh, it didn't used to be, but it is now, gifts. Oh, yeah, that's oh, mine. Yeah. I love gifts. I like yeah, giving I gifts. gifts. Yeah. And I realized that I also like to receive gifts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because I think gift giving is a love language. It yeah, is. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, what's yeah. yours? Um, definitely gift giving. I love giving and... Quality time. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mine is definitely just gift giving. I love giving a gift. I don't really care to receive it though, but I yeah. love giving them. Yeah. They don't have to be crazy gifts, like extravagant, but mm -hmm. I do like thoughtful things. Yes, yeah. yes. So is it hard? <laughs> yes. She, she's, she's teased. She, uh, yes. <laughs> so is it hard um, building godly or healthy relationships in the industry? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this is a um. <laughs> this is one of the most narcissistic, yes, yeah. uh, dark industries yeah. <laughs> to be a part of. But you know what I mean? I think that there are there are a lot of people that mm -hmm. you meet and it just it, it's different people in the industry. So you kind of just click with the people that you have like mindset with. Right. Yeah. Um, everybody's not going to be into God. Some people are into demon time. Right. And that's your, your life. Right. <laughs> right. Right. It's right. your choice. But. I wouldn't say it's hard. I think that it's just, I feel like this generation is hard to um, connect in general, not just the industry. So do you feel like um, being on social media, does that cause an impact in your relationship or friendship? I hate that it does, but it yeah, does. it does. I hate that it does, yeah. Yeah. but it does. Yeah. So if you could go back and give yourself at 20 years old some advice, what would it be? Oh. 20 years old and we 20 we need it oh yeah um, <laughs> i miss 20 um i would say to my 20 year old self um 
What would I tell my 20 year old self? Let me think. Hold on. I would tell my 20 year old self to don't worry about what no one else is doing. Just do you. I Unapologetically. Take I take that one. Thank you. <laughs> So next we're about to get into Let's Talk, y'all. So somebody's about to give us something they're going through or whatever, and we're going to give our advice on it and stuff like that. So we have somebody, Jazzy. I'll give advice? I think. <laughs> okay, relationship advice okay. I have is I'm talking. Oh, okay. Um, what if a boy doesn't know how to communicate properly but like when he's with you he communicates but when you're not there it's just like nothing oh for me yeah what oh. you think <laughs> um what you mean like like you're in person everything's good but like you don't text back or yeah do like mean? he don't know how to communicate his problems unless like you're with him and you're in his face and y'all could talk about it but like how old are you i'm 19 how old is he <laughs> he's 19 oh well <laughs> Uh, is he playing video games or something? I don't know. He, he might just be not focused, honestly. But I would just say, like, when it comes to... What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. When it comes to, you know, like, communication, it's, it's definitely both ways. But I think when it comes to men in communication, honestly, to be honest, from to girl to girl... What's your name? Huh? Angela. Oh, <laughs> Angela. Hi, Angela. Um... I would say that you're young, and I would also say that sometimes men, <laughs> let me not get in trouble, boys, I would say boys, sometimes boys um, are not focused on the things that we're focused on, and they're not ready for the things we're ready for at a certain ages, so I would just say that, I would say to my younger self too, don't expect too much, just do you. Do you? Okay, yeah, I will leave you. him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, just focus on yourself. Okay, yeah. we have somebody else. Never take no sign. True come out they mouth. Judge the twin. True confession. Judge the twin. Are you sick of your money playing hard to get? Get Money Lion and take control. Download the app or visit moneylion.com to start making better decisions on your money today. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking for What if, like, you're talking to a boy, right, and you, like, open up to them and stuff, and then you don't get the same in return? Like, wh how would you go about it? I would never open up again to them. <laughs> I would just leave him where he's, where he's at. More so me, I would express to him, like, look, I opened up to you, like, what, what's, what's your intentions with me? Right. I'm with that. What's your intentions with right. me? <laughs> Definitely. Think? I think so, too. I think so. Like, it has to be, like I said, 100, 100. And if you're not giving me nothing, I got to move on to the next. Yeah. 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 But definitely communicate that. Like, yeah. ghosting. I used to be a ghoster, but I don't think that's healthy. No. So definitely communicate what you're feeling. But then after that, just keep pushing. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> All Anymore? right. Well, thank you, Soraya, for coming with us oh, today. Well, thank, you. thank you for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Scan the QR code um, and subscribe and stay tuned for True Confessions Podcast. Until next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Real, real stories, real advice, real talk. Jada, Jada, just in tune what you talk. Real stories, real advice, real talk. Jada, Jada, just in tune what you thought. Like her, miss, subscribe. I just watched it at the house. They don't never take no sign. True come out they mouth. Just a twin, you can fish. Just a twin, you can fish. Just a twin, you can fish. Just a twin. Had to turn it up loud for real. Trying to go in a new direction. So just tell your story. Go ahead, just ask your question. Gonna be celebrity guessing. Jada Jana, they highly requested. Entertainer, they free like the Ispy. Take a selfie.
can send to your bestie. Like, come in and subscribe. I hope you follow directions. What's the app you be using a lot? I hope you make a selection. One time for the judge to twin. Sneaky link get way too messy. Tell the truth that you want again. That's a true confession.